It's early morning here at Reaching Africa's Unreaxed and we're busy working getting the ground prepared for planting. Here we have a number of ladies that have been working this whole past week uh, leveling and digging where the tractor couldn't go. And these are all sisters from the neighboring church which Carol and I go to whenever we're not going out on ministry trips on Sunday mornings. Here you see the guest house of course and you're familiar with that. Right here, this patch of ground right here is where we're going to be putting cassava in. We've got Sam over here digging along the fence line. And that's Minder over there digging holes where they'll put the stems of cassava in. The cassava that was grown here uh, last year was the cassava that we brought to the refugee camp. Over here we have Henry and Mandrugo, Mandrugo's son, digging out a thorn tree uh, and some brushy trees along the roadside here that we want to clean up and make it look nice there and we'll be able to shred that with the tractor. You see the field, open field, this was all African bush at one point. We got it all cleared, ready for planting. Down behind the house here there's more land. Probably about 13 acres total that we'll have in beans and g-nuts or we call them peanuts and cassava. Pray for the rains, they're about three weeks late maybe even four weeks late and many of the people here are kind of nervous about that even using words such as famine because these crops are very necessary in the June July period for people's well-being uh, to feed their families so pray for God's blessing on these crops that we'll be able to raise them and sell them and then use that money for the ministry so that the ministry can be more self-sustaining and development can happen here as well and so if something happens where America is cut off from the ministry here things can continue on. It's one of the children uh, of the mothers that comes here. God bless you. Pray for us here. Thank you for all your prayers and support.